Hey guys, it's Poon Ice Cream Bar. So I've had something on my mind recently and I thought these stories illustrated it perfectly. So it's story time, kids. Once upon a time, me and my friends went to Renaissance Fair with our dolls, thinking it was going to be happy, hunky-dory good times. It mostly was. We actually ran into another group of people who had brought their ball joint dolls. We were like, oh my gosh, how crazy, how fun. Brought our BJDs on the same day. And we had a good time. We were talking, we were laughing, it was fun. And then we ran into these two other girls who approached us who were like, oh my gosh, you guys collect BJDs. Also, we do too. They didn't have any dolls with them. And one of the girls goes, Oh my gosh, you guys should bring your dolls and we should like plan a little meet at the Renaissance Fair because it would be so fun because we were having a good time and it was a good time and good times are being had. And one of the two girls who didn't bring dolls went, Oh, I'm sorry, but we actually care about our dolls and we would never bring them in the sun. Cue walk of shame home from everyone. Not home back to your car, but you know, shame. Shamed. Shamed. This one time I was at ASIN with actually the same group of friends and we were just walking around having a good time. We got separated from one of our friends. I was hanging out with my other friend and we both had dolls. Mine was an Apple House Sylvia and hers was a doll caught kiss and we were both dressed in Lolita like very clearly walking around together having a good time once again with our dolls also both dressed in Lolita and we stopped at this shop that we both thought had really cool art. The artist comes out and starts talking to my friend, not to me, even though we're standing and talking together, and doesn't allude to the fact that I'm there and doesn't say anything to me or make eye contact with me. She just goes up to my friend and says, oh, hi, how are you? See you looking at my store, blah, blah, blah. And then she starts talking about how much she loves my friend's doll and how cute she thinks it is and asking all these questions. And I'm like, well, that's good for her making a new friend. I was feeling kind of bad because I wished that, you know, someone would talk to me too. I was down for making friends. Eventually, we just kind of left and I just thought, well, not everyone can like you and that's fine and it was fine. And then about two hours later, we had sort of circled the whole convention and come back to her booth and the girl comes running out to my friend and goes oh my gosh I have the best idea for your doll and I'm still standing there like clearly with the doll in my arms I'm like okay this is fun again she comes back with like a little phone charm that's supposed to look like an ASIN badge and she puts it around the doll's neck and she's like now he can be at the convention too oh my gosh and they're like oh my gosh that's so cute and fun and I just stand off to the side like so much fun I'm having actually later that day at that same convention a girl ran up to me and two of my friends all three of us had dolls and she points to my friend's doll and she goes Oh my gosh, that is my favorite outfit of the three of these. And we were like, okay. And then she points to my doll and she goes, and that's my favorite doll of the three of these. And then she just smiles and walks away. And my third friend was just sitting there like, I actually have another ASIN story. Once I did the very first face-up I ever did and it was terrible. It was basically just brown splotches on his face. It was on Daichi, who's a Shiwu, and it was a terrible face-up. It was horrible and bad. And I knew it, but I went to the convention anyway, and we went to a meetup. It was the very first meetup I'd been to for Ball Joint Dolls. Basically, what happened, among other things, is they passed around a head that and they said, this is what a good face-up looks like. Because they were doing this whole, like, don't get scammed on the internet. And they're like, this is what a good face-up looks like. It should be airbrushed, it should be this, it should be that, which is like, mm, okay, whatever. They were passing it around, and it came to me, and I was just like, my doll, what a face-up should look like. It didn't, no, it was terrible. And I just kept passing the head and ever since then I was just like, oh God, don't look at his face. But then there was a point in the meet where we were supposed to get up and like mingle with each other. This girl came up to me and she's just smiling, this really like fake looking smile. And she goes, did you do that face up yourself? So ungodly embarrassed because she asked it, but she knew. Like, let's just be honest, it was terrible. She knew and I was just like, yeah, well, and then I just started making up this horrible strain of excuses like, yeah, my dog came in when I was painting and spilled all the water, and then I had to clean it up, and then the water melted my pastels, and I had one melty pastel color, and I had to use that, and then the pastels melted onto the floor, and I had to clean it up, and I got the bleach to clean it, and, the, and that's why it's bad. Is that a little Bill Cosby in there? I don't, I don't know what that, what that voice was. I walked away. 
<laughs> because uh, there's just, there was no saving it. My last story was when I went to my first meetup outside of a convention setting. And I went and I thought it was going to be like a whole mingling of different kinds of people and I went with two of my friends and we were all like fairly young in high school, like freshman or sophomore year in high school. We showed up, pretty much everyone already knew each other first of all, so we were just like these new young kids. No one really talked to us, we didn't really get to meet anybody. The only person who really approached me, or my friends, was someone who noticed that one of my dolls had the same pants as one of her dolls, and you know everyone else at meetups is like, let's take fun pictures of our dolls together and pose them in fun ways. So I'm like, oh yes, I finally get to pose my doll with a stranger. <laughs> we get to her table, and she's like, so how do you want to do this? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, we could uh, do something, something. And she's like, how about we just lay them down next to each other? And I'm like, okay. So we do that, and then, you know, the meetup continues. And then you know how after meetups, people will, like, post pictures and blah, blah, blah. So I'm looking at the pictures like, oh, let's see who took pictures of my doll. Zero pictures of any of mine or my friend's dolls, just none. It was just so embarrassing to have that memory of like, yeah, we were there, but no one talked to us, no one came up and took pictures of our dolls. It's like everyone else was just going through the room and like taking pictures of everyone's dolls and like, oh, your doll's so cool, your doll has such great style, I love this face up, I love this wig, and then they'd get to ours and be like, oh, you have a doll, that's nice. Ouch, that hurts. That hurts. That's like, thank you for talking to me, I guess, but still, oof, no, ah, it burns. I guess the point I'm trying to make here, other than these are just kind of funny stories, is that people really need to learn to be more polite. Unless they're actually, like, murdering someone, which then you can call the police. You have my permission to call the police if you're witnessing a murder. However, most situations, you can just be polite, especially in a setting like a convention. I have so many stories about ASIN and meetups and things like that where people have just been so obnoxiously, overtly rude that in a general setting, in general public, I know people wouldn't act like that. So please remember your manners, kids, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed my really sad, embarrassing doll stories.